today's the day I'm getting my metabolism tested again. So if you saw my video about my weight loss and everything, that was kind of what helped me lose 25 pounds last year because we found out that my metabolism was extremely slow and that's why I couldn't lose weight before. So now we are going to retest it uh, almost a year later. I wanna see if anything has changed. So come along for the ride. I'm gonna document the process and then you can see what it's like. Hey everybody, I'm Claire Kelb and I'm registered dietitian at Alberta Therapy Co. Super, super excited to test the metabolic rate for all of you and for our wonderful trainer here. Um, so a super easy test, 10 minutes, everybody can do that. I just don't want you to do anything overwhelming before you do the test. Just sit, breathe, and we get this amazing list of results for you to figure out what your calorie needs are for based on whatever goal you have. Yeah, so ultimately what we're doing here is we're figuring out what your basic like basal resting calorie needs are um, and the way that we do that is we get you to breathe out of a tube with no slip on at rest so we want your legs up we want you to chill put your head back close your eyes i'll turn the light off for the session so that you can just be i won't be in the room i'm going to pop out for 10 minutes um, which is the length of the test and as soon as this machine beeps at us it's going to go doo -doo, and i will hear that and i'll pop right back in okay. um basically what we're going to know is what you need calorically at rest which is a really valuable number for us um, because then we can figure out on top of that lifestyle exercise calorie needs whatever your goal is so i have people coming in that are athletes that are like Oh my god like i need to put on weight or i have people that are looking at i need to sustain my weight it just keeps on going up or it keeps on going down and i don't want that we need to figure out where do we need to be right um but yes certainly weight management is a big piece a lot of clients coming in for that to figure out like why is it that i can't lose weight like yeah. what is going on is my metabolism fast is it slow like what's happening and so we definitely get that data on this test so you get this beautiful printout that tells you everything, tells you what your calorie needs are at rest, figures out and estimates your lifestyle activity calories, how many calories you burn with 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, which is valuable because we all know that treadmills and all the machines are totally overestimating what we yeah. burn. So this is exactly what you'll be burning with 30 minutes so that you can use that when you're working out. Um, it will tell us a range of calories for maintenance um, to help you sustain your weight, tells us more of a weight loss zone if that's a target for you, and then more of a medically su supervised, which is typically not a zone that I advise people to go into, but if we need it, we absolutely can do that. So um, what I love about this is it does give you a nice little uh, you know, line that says, hey, how does my metabolism compare to somebody else with the same age, height, weight, gender as me? Um, and this one will tell you with an X, are you normal, are you fast, are you slow? Um, and where are you on that spectrum? So that's kind of cool. Um, so lots of great info. The test is $140 to do. I have people coming in to do it for, you know, the weight management piece when they're just starting out or somebody who's maybe training for um, an exercise event and they're like, I just need to make sure that I'm keeping my calorie needs met. Um, figuring that piece out is helpful. If they hit a plateau as far as weight loss for clients, they often will go for this as well, just to see like, what's happened, have things changed since I first started. Um, so we'll get that captured on this too. So it's just like such a cool tool. Doesn't exist in a lot of places. I brought this in from the US nice. and I've used this. I was a dietitian in the United States. That's where I got all my training. And then was using this for a long, long time at Sports Medicine Clinic. And then I brought it back to Canada, purchased it. Um, and now I'm offering it in Canada. So I'm super stoked. There's really only two people in Alberta doing it and I'm one of them. So it's Yay. exciting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm excited to offer it. It's brand new um, here and a lot of people don't know that it exists. So I'm just trying to get the word out. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. So all of these tubes, there's one tube per person. So I'm not recycling these. Um, it's going to get plugged into the machine. Okay. And the second that you start breathing, it's going to start um, the test. Okay. What's nice about it is 
any kind of irregularities in your reading or in the testing results are going to get thrown out. Okay. So it really is intuitive. It's going to only capture the things that are consistent. So generally like in a 10 minute test, it might be capturing like eight minutes of testing and gets rid of the outlier kind of stuff. So get really accurate, um, accurate results. So, but it is all about the preparation. So we want to make sure that people are fasting. Yeah. Um, generally it says four hours, but I really encourage from the night before. Um, it does say we can get it tested at any time of the day, but I know from experience that yeah. the best time of day is first thing in the morning when we haven't had that up and about um, and movement throughout the day. We don't want to have caffeine. We don't want to have ca um, alcohol prior to it. Um, and we don't want to have exercise. So for a lot of people, this is kind of like ideal. Yeah. No exercise morning, kind yeah. of nice to take a break, come in and plunk yourself in a chair and get tested, right? Yeah. So super straightforward. Um, stretch that nice stretchy tube out. I'll pass that to you. Okay, and then we'll get you the nose, nose uh, piece. So this one's pretty tight, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but the reason for that is we don't want any sneakage, right? We don't want the leaky air coming out. Should we do that? Now? You can, okay. yeah. We want absolutely everything captured into the tube. So some things that happen are drooling, and that's normal. Okay. This is your tube, I throw it out afterwards or recycle it. Um, so you can drip. If you need to drip any drool in there, go for it. The other is Kleenex. If you drip on the sides, how about it? Okay. Um, but ultimately, I just want you to rest. Not get stressed if in the first couple minutes you're like, I can't do this. Oh my gosh, panic. Don't worry. Like, that's normal. I just want you to get to the point where you're like, okay, I got this. Which I promise you, you will get there. Okay. So let's plug it in. It's ready. Okay. Perfect. Would you like lights on or lights uh, off? Maybe on for like 30 seconds and then maybe you can play. Yeah, yeah, perfect. There's a little sunlight in here. So that's actually the sun. Oh, sweet. So yeah, it'll be nice and Love nice it. and relaxed. Okay, thank okay. you. Take care. So high five seven or low five seven? Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's like centimeters, right? Yeah, so sure. this will not impact your results. Okay. It's just like a minutia okay. of something. <laughs> we know your gender and your weight. I'm you know? 155. Okay. There. Perfect. And then the next piece is gonna ask us if you have a goal weight, and that can be different, or it can be the same as what you are. I'd love to be 145. Okay, then yeah. We'll get your individual one of this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love doing this for myself too. Like anytime, like I was telling this other trainer this morning, I was like, you know, when I had kids, I was like, why is my weight changing? Like, why is it going down so fast, right? And it's like, okay, let's get on this this thing and see. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, gotcha. And then kids became very much my life, and exercise went down, and my you know, muscle mass went down. And I was like. What's happening? Why is my weight going up? And it's like, get on this thing and find out, right? Yeah. And so it's, it's a nice guide um, whenever you need it. 
So ultimately what we learn from this, very first thing I want you to see is actually your normal. Oh yay. So you're right spot on normal. Um, we do keep in mind that like for the test, you have been up for a little bit. Yeah. Um, there's always gonna be a little bit of error involved. So when we're figuring out what your re resting energy expenditure is, which is your resting metabolic um, rate, or some people call it basal metabolic rate, your needs are gonna be here, probably minus a little bit yeah. just from being up today. Okay. So about 1,500, 1,550 calories is what you need just to nice. survive. Yeah. Like do nothing, right? And stay where you are. So we know you're not doing that. You've got lifestyle and activity on top of that. So this next box up above that one is giving us an estimate for what you burn just actually at a more light active lifestyle. So this one unfortunately like we can't plug in like oh you're moderate activity or whatever they just yeah. want basic living to start with yeah if you're above and beyond basic living then you can bump that up yeah from there but roughly for a late you're going to bump up an extra 465 calories on top of what you need at rest and that'll give us this is what you need to stay here yeah at the least yeah. right if you're more active yeah we can a couple extra hundred calories or more um, to get our, our estimated maintenance needs. So that maintenance zone that's over here is taking into account a range of you doing absolutely nothing to this plus a light active lifestyle, Yeah. right? So that's anywhere between 1550 and 2020, kind of in that zone. Mm -hmm. So if weight loss is a zone for you that you're wanting to go to, we know that anything within a deficit of this will promote some weight loss. Mm -hmm. So if you've always got some lifestyle and activity, this number is probably not gonna be your number for maintenance. It's probably gonna be more of that upper number, if not higher than that. Yeah. So when we're looking for weight loss, we're gonna be below that, right? So yeah. less than 2000, they do give us a zone that's gonna be more of a 500 calorie deficit because generally we tend to see about a one pound per week weight loss yeah. with about a 500 calorie deficit, right? So um, roughly I would say for you, like a target, if you're looking for weight loss at that kind of rate, it'd be probably about 1500 calories yeah. right around there. Yeah, that's perfect. Cause so, I actually recently lost 25 pounds. Yeah. When I did this, yeah. it was 1095. Oh, so my metabolism has gone up because I've yeah. got like gained strength and muscle since. That's the key. So yeah. I was so interested to do this yes. again to see like how it goes. So yeah, yeah, like now to lose like the last 10 pounds, I can eat more. That's awesome, right? Yeah. I mean, the biggest piece that I always get asked is like, what drives metabolism? Muscle, right? So for, for personal trainers who are working with clients who are like, I'm gonna lose weight. Well, guess what? We don't want to lose muscle. Yeah. That's why it's so essential, right? That we're building that muscle and maintaining or sustaining that muscle and keeping your calories where they need to be so that we're not just stripping muscle as we're trying to cut weight, Yeah. right? So it's super critical that you have that information that you're like, you know what? I want to kind of like get down a little bit more. Okay, well don't drop lower yeah. than that 1500 calorie zone, right? Yeah. Because we're going to drop out all of that amazing muscle that drives that metabolic rate for you. So super, super critical. Um, it does give you a general idea of timeline, you know, it, this is arbitrary, but it does, you know, general idea. If yeah. you're in the zone, roughly six to seven weeks is where, you know, it would take to get to where you want to go. Um, but yeah, I, I say to clients, like, don't let that deter you. Like, if it's not going at that rate, don't worry. Like, just go at your own pace. We don't yeah. want to do anything crazy. Yeah. Um, just based on those weeks, right? So ultimately all looks good you're super normal you don't get to say you have a slow metabolism so i've had lots of clients that are like oh my god i can't say that anymore yeah I'm like no you can't no not an excuse <laughs> but i do have clients that have been slow yeah. and they're like oh my god this is so validating right yeah. so yeah. it's like yeah it's nice to have that knowledge and then be able to just like move on move forward with what your goals are right yeah yeah, because so 1095 with what it was before that would have been slow, right? Yeah, absolutely like really slow. slow, right? Because that's what I thought. I was doing research and like, okay, based on everything, that seems yeah. like really not normal. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. really nice to know. And like next to impossible to meet your nutrient needs. Yeah, right. Like you'd be supplemented up the yin yang to get your nutrient needs met, right? Yeah. So that's just not a way to live. And probably eating thousand calories per day. Oh my gosh! Like how miserable a person would be. Yeah. Just starving, right? And enjoying life yeah. and that's like this is important that we enjoy our life and that we eat you know fun stuff too yeah so that was my experience retesting my metabolism 
all in all, I would say if you get the chance and it's within your budget, I highly recommend that you do this if you're on any kind of fitness journey. For me, the, the reason I did it at first was for weight loss, as I mentioned prior. Um, and now I was just really curious to see if my metabolism had changed and lo and behold, it increased by 500 calories at rest, which is insane. Um, so yeah, it just tells you the power of building muscle and how that can benefit. There's a million benefits to building muscle, but one of them is increasing your resting metabolism. So if you, you know, want to book this test, you can reach out to Alberta Therapy Co. and book online. And, you know, let's say you get the test. Now you need a trainer. I'm your girl. We'll see you next time. Bye.